Yo, what is going on YouTube? I'm back with another video. Today I'm gonna be showing you guys this 10 millimeter 18 karat gold uh, yellow gold Cuban link chain. This is a choker, 18 inches, 10 millimeters, 162 grams. I don't have the scale with me today, unfortunately. You guys are gonna have to trust my word on it. It's a uh, 160 plus grams. This is an old chain. Oh, well, this is a few years old. I've had this for a while, and uh, I I had it made in during like the COVID era, which is hella fucking expensive i wouldn't it was kind of a mistake to be honest it actually it was probably the worst financial mistake i've ever made um but i I, mean, I got this made during the covid era and it was hella expensive but um it's it looks nice though 18 care like yellow gold like i said with the custom box clasp um this took a while to make it was pretty expensive um i mean it looks great i mean i, I never wear this really i just it's just like collects dust i mean it's a cool thing and it looks cool. Um, but yeah, I just want to talk about this, you know, show it off. Because you don't really see too many chokers up on YouTube. Because, I don't know, mo most people aren't really into that. But this one's 18 inches. So it's pretty pretty short. So let's just look at the links real quick. My, f my fingers look disgusting. I know. Um, yeah, r real nice links. It's on a flat on the other side, though. So I'd say, I wouldn't say it's a Miami Cuban, just more of a Cuban link. Um, but yeah, the, the other side's flat because uh, if I were to have it a uh, Miami Cuban link curved, it would have been 200 grams almost, which is just two, one too heavy and the other too expensive, you know? Uh, and the lighting's really bad, so let me put this in the light for you guys. like i said 10 millimeters you know i got this because i had the bracelet already so i was like you know gotta get matching right that's everyone's dream is you get like a little 10 millimeter for like a decent width uh, cuban link chain and take a look at the boss class sleek lock or whatever you guys want to call it Sleek lock. Um, there you go. Let's see. Eighteen carat right there, boys. Uh, eighteen carat. Yeah, I don't. I don't wear anything less than eighteen carat, just because. I mean, it's more of a traditional. It's a traditional thing. It's a culture thing in my culture. No one really wears eight, uh, fourteen. It's mostly eighteen or twenty-four. Um, that's how Asians uh, have most of their jewelry. So the way this works, you know, it's like a fork. And um, you put it in right there. Locks it in. Make sure it's flat and sleek. Snaps into place. Yeah, these are this is a pretty nice chain, you know. Uh, when I first got it, it, it's it was too heavy for a daily, to be honest. It, 160 grams on your neck just doesn't feel very nice, especially when it's so close to your neck. If uh, if you wanted a day, like I'm 165 pounds, and this is a, uh, and I'm like decently built, and this is like about my weight in grams, and this is not like a comfortable thing I would wear like all day, you know. Probably like five hours max, I'd say, before it starts getting a little uncomfortable. And I have the bracelet right here, actually, to show you guys. Um, they don't look, they're both 10 millimeter, but they don't look identical because uh, the, the, the bracelet has lost some gold over the, over the years and plus just the way the links were made. The chain was made with more gold, thicker links. That's why it just looks thicker, but the the th the width of the links themselves are the s are similar, are the same, 10 millimeter. However, the thickness of the actual links, the width of the links is equivalent, but the thickness of the links is not, just simply because the mass of the gold that's inside of them. Oh my gosh, we'll put them side by side. You can see the thickness of the chain, or the... Yeah, the thickness of the length of the chain is much more substantial than the bracelet. Um, yeah, we'll 
Get some more angles right here. Get that to focus. So damn bright out, but I can't focus. Focus. There we go. It's the money shot right there. That's the money shot. Yeah, looks real nice. And the thing is, guys, the, these Cuban link chains, they're, they're, these are both handmade, obviously. These Cuban link chains, they're, they're super nice staple pieces. So I felt like if I got 14 karat, it just it just wouldn't feel the same. And I, I'm a man that likes my gold, so I try to, try to keep these things nice, high-end, you know. I mean, there's a reason why all the high-end jewelry, jewelry stores and companies like Jacob & Co., Tiffany, Cartier, Ben Baller, if you even want to say. They use 18K on most of their stuff. Just because, well, it's nicer. And the whole... This one's the box glass, by the way. So you can see. I have a review of this already on my channel. If you guys just go check it out. Um, this one's really old. I've had this for like five, over five years, probably. And over time that um, I've been wearing this to the beach, climbing, and uh, it's hit hard surfaces like rocks and stuff. It's It's been scratched on my desk, on my laptop, and it's lost like almost a gram of gold, I'd say. It was just through scratches and everything. But that's just the game. Like, I, I bought this to be worn. I'm not going to be a, a gentle... I'm not going to wear it gingerly and gently. Like, I, I'm going to be rough with it. I hit the gym with this. Like, this is just my everyday piece. And I'll probably eventually get it remade. Get a new one with uh, thicker links. You know, probably round all the way around. 80 grams, maybe. I'll see. But the, I've just had this for a long time. And I got this at a really good price when gold was super cheap. Um, so, yeah. I'll go back to the chain, though. But I was, as I was saying, with the 18 karat, a lot of people like to say make the argument 18 karat's too soft. Uh, 14 karat's a better alternative i mean that's to a degree that's truth but i realistically you're not going to be handling 18 karat roughly like if you're tugging on it and everything with the smaller trains it might matter a little bit but the the durability isn't that much different you know if you're not gonna if you're being rough with the chains tugging on them constantly then that might matter to you fortune care might be better but Realistically, if you're just going to have the, the chain sit on your neck and not fuss with it too much, it's not going to make a difference. You can sleep with these things, and it won't matter. I've daily 24 karat chains, 24 karat Cuban link chains, like the small ones, 3 millimeter. That's like 30 grams. I've daily those things, taking a shower, hit the gym, um, lift, you know, run with those. And those don't even have actual clasps. Those are like the S class where you have to... Um, mold it and push it those are completely fine as everyday carry everyday wear chains the thing is people like to say 18 karat 24 k is too soft when they've never even owned those chains so yeah guys i think if you're gonna spend a lot of money on a piece of jewelry that you, you're gonna enjoy and cherish for a long time and never sell i think you should just save up the money if you can and invest in like higher carrot i think 18 carats is the best in my opinion i would i would have gotten this in 24 if i could afford it but shit that would have been so expensive yeah like the, uh this is not polished i've been i wore this to the pool not too long ago but yeah you can see there are definitely scratches and these scratches that you see these uh micro scratches and Things you see, you probably wouldn't get that with a twenty with a fourteen karat chain. But I mean, jewelry is meant to be worn, you know. And although you might not get those scratches with a fourteen karat chain, you would not get this this rich yellow color with a fourteen karat chain and the shine that you're having right now. You could just tell that this is not this is eighteen uh, inches because like look how short this is. Let me just put this on my neck for you guys. I don't know if 
you guys can see or not, but I'm hoping that's since I can't see what the camera's saying. Hopefully, you guys can see what this chain looks like. Boom. Just make sure it's focused. Uh, boom. Sleek lock in the front. No. Boom. That looks stupid. I can't tell. I, like, I don't know if I can see my face or not. But yeah, that's what it looks like. I'm gonna have to edit that out. But I'll get some more shots, guys. Don't you worry. Get some more shots. Use the back side again. Super high polish, clean. Super careful, I don't want to drop this shit. You know what I mean? So. shot for you guys it's hard to line these up together Nice. Yeah, guys. Um, I have some other reviews up on my channel of a few jewelry videos. I think you guys might like some 18 karat stuff, and I think I have one 24 karat video on there. I might uh, show you guys this one 24 karat chain that I have or know someone that has one. I could my hands on it and show you guys it's a hermes three millimeter i think 24 karat gold around 40 grams over an ounce over a troy ounce as well with a big cross pendant i can show that off to you guys if you guys want to see what 24 karat looks like so if you guys want to see that just drop in the comments i'll try to reply i don't get these notifications so if i don't reply i'm sorry but i will try to that's it for me, guys. Thanks for watching. Took the time to come outside to show you guys this because it was dark inside. So please like the video and thanks.